Detroit Lions versus the Tennessee Titans, man. Now, let me talk about the Titans real quick. They got Marcus Mariota. You know, he liked to run the ball as a quarterback. He could also pass the ball, too. Um, they got the Fumble Murray, who came from the Cowboys, then went to the Eagles, then came to the Titans. And then they got the rookie Heisman Trophy winner, Derrick Henry. <laughs> I didn't know the Tennessee Titans got two Heisman Trophy winners on their team till now. <laughs> well, I just realized it, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, as I was saying, man, we're going against them. Now, their offensive line is so-so. They like to run the football and things of that nature. And when they pass the ball, they like to do play-action plays. Kind of like how the Minnesota Vikings is. They're like, you know, and they played the Minnesota Vikings this past Sunday. They lost to them, so. But, yeah, man. I, <laughs> I don't think, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think y'all winning this Sunday, dog. Y'all not going to beat us, dog. I just don't see it. I don't see it. But then again, anything is possible in the NFL, but I don't see it this week, man. I think this is we're going to finally beat you as a franchise because we never beat the Tennessee Titans. We beat the Houston Oilers. We never beaten the Tennessee Titans. Just let that sink into your head for a moment. So that's going to be a problem. And then they got their defenses. It's better than the Colts defense, so I expect them to – Play better, man. I expect the defense to be a little bit of a problem for us. But, yeah, man. I'm just saying, like, I don't know, man. But I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't think y'all winning this Sunday, dog. Even though, even though y'all, it your defense is better than the Colts, though. I'm not going to lie. But Marcus Mariota, that dude, that dude is the Hawaiian Michael Vick. That's who he remind me of. He could scramble. He could scramble. He could run like a motherfucker. He's fast as shit. You know what I'm saying? He's fast as shit. That's scary. <laughs> That's kind of scary. We got and the Lions. They over the years they struggle with scrambling quarterbacks and shit. Man, that's gonna be a problem. Now let me get to the damn offense real quick for the Lions. I'm gonna say the defense best for last, man. Uh, I'm gonna get to the Lions offense. They played pretty good against the Colts, man. We was running the football, and we passed the football. You know what I'm saying? Both of our running backs, both of our running backs, each a piece, they had they had almost 200 yards from scrimmage, Abdullah and Riddick. So, it was a good game, man. It was a good game, for real. Very good game for the running backs this past game. It was the Amir and Theo Riddick show. Um... And this game against the Tennessee Titans, I want to see Golden Tate get more targets. Yeah, he got targets in the last game, but I'm tired of seeing Golden Tate just catching bubble screens and shit like that. The little slant routes and shit. I'm tired of seeing him just get little little shit like that, man. I'm tired of that shit. I want to see him get the little bubble screens and whatnot. I do, but not. I want to see him run more routes besides the bubble screen and the little five-yard slant. I want to see Golden Tate catch a deep ball in this game. I want to see Matthew Stafford and Jim Bob Cooter um, have Go Golden Tate work outside and have him try to run the try to catch the ball deep downfield. Man, he need to catch a deep ball for once. Man, he need to get a deep ball from time to time. Man, seriously. Number one, it throws the offense. It throws the defense off guard. Number two, it makes your offense less predictable. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I wanted. I want the Lions to do that. Have Golden Tate catch a deep ball, man. He need to go deep sometime, man, for real. Because we all know Marvin Jones can go deep, and we all know that's going to be probably predictable as hell because most people are going to be like, oh, you're throwing it deep. Oh, it's going to go to Marvin Jones. We all know that shit. Or it's going to go to fucking Anquan Bolden. We all know that shit, man. So if you want to throw their defense off guard, you better have Golden Tate beat the, beat the corner on, on the on the. Uh, streak route and have his ass in stride and throw him the goddamn ball so he can get a touchdown in this motherfucker. Just have have him run more routes. You know what I'm saying? Also, I want to see Anquan Bowden get a little more touches than he did this past game. A little more uh, targets and stuff. Um, Yeah. Ebron, keep doing your thing. Make sure you seal up your blocks the next time you fucking block, man. For real. 
so the running backs will be able to run the ball even longer and have bigger chunks of chains or yards. Um, make the time to step your shit the fuck up. You a first round pick and you playing like shit. <laughs> shit, Uncle Luke, man, you better step that shit up. All right, let me let me flip over to the defense, dog, of this fucking team, man. Let me flip it over to the defense, cause I know the Tennessee Titans they're gonna bring it on defense, but the defense for the um Lions, though, dude, this defense was so fucking sorry. This shit was awful, man. This past Sunday, that was inexcusable. I don't. Well, in the first half, they played okay. They go, people are like, well, they stopped the run. They stopped the run. Motherfucker, you stopping Frank Gore. You stopping the old Frank Gore. You ain't stopping Frank Gore from the 49ers years. You ain't stopping the Frank Gore. Nah, this ain't the Frank Gore four or five years ago. Yeah, if you talking about you stopping that Frank Gore, that's impressive. But you stopping the out of his prime, more washed up version of Frank Gore. That's not that impressive to me. I'm sorry. It's just not. And the Fumble Murray and Derrick Henry as of right now is better running backs than Frank Gore. So, yeah, man, we're gonna we gonna have we gonna have a tall task this Sunday. Now, now we we gotta stop that run. Clearly, we gotta stop that run. Not with not just with the running backs, but with their fucking quarterback as well. Shit. Man, I just heard some news that DeAndre Levy got hurt again, dog. That shit pissed me off when I seen that shit. He, it's not his hip though. It's his quadricep. It's his co- It's his quadricep. Man, that's some bullshit. And then y'all bit y'all motherfuckers bitching at me tomorrow. No, we shouldn't trade Levy. Huh? No. Oh, what you talking about? You so stupid. <laughs> I bet you look at that injury now. Now you see what the fuck I'm talking about. Now you see what I'm talking about. This, this is why I want to trade this. This is why I want to trade this motherfucker. This is why. He's hurt again. This is why. This is one of the reasons why. Now you only validating my point. So don't fucking talk shit about me. Dumbass motherfuckers, man. I'm tired of y'all shit, man. I be ready. Man, some of y'all motherfuckers, I be ready to smack the fuck out of these, some of y'all dumbass motherfuckers, man. I swear to God. Anyway. Next guy that need to step up. Well, Whitehead needed. He needed to get his shit together. He wasn't terrible, but. He need to play better. That's all I got to say. He need to protect the middle better. Slay, he got beat on the deep route this past game. But for the most part, he played pretty good. But you can't be giving up big plays like that. I He need to change his nickname, too. I don't like that name, Big Play Slay. It, the only ones that's making the big fucking plays is the opposing receiver on your ass. Shit. I'm tired of seeing that shit, man. God damn. Then... <laughs> Um, let me get on Tavon Wilson, man. You play like shit. You and Raphael Bush, man. Y'all both play like garbage. Y'all was terrible last game, man. That was awful. That was terrible. Now, if y'all keep playing like that, man, you might as well, man, Caldwell, you might as well throw in Miles Killebrew in that month. You might as well throw in Miles Killebrew in that boy. Shoot. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't the greatest in coverage or whatnot. I mean, but he's a rookie. You know, he's learning. He's getting experience or whatnot. Throw him in the game. Let him let him learn. Let him bump his head a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? He would get better. You <laughs> shit. He would get better. One thing about Killer Brew though, he he gives you that intimidation factor. He kind of reminds me of a a strong. He kind of reminds me of Cam Chancellor a little bit. Yeah, I ain't talking about now the Cam Chancellor right now. I'm talking about when he first his first couple of years and shit. Cam Chancellor wasn't that great. Cam Chesley was not that good in coverage. That's kind of the reason why he was taking what he was taking in the fucking draft when he got drafted by the Seahawks. That's why he was taken at the position, at the spot he was taking at, because he wasn't that great in coverage. Now, nah, Cam Chesley probably the best strong safety in the NFL. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But after five fucking years and shit, four or five years, yeah, of course. So... My Killer Brew, man, he give you that intimidation factor just like Cam Chancellor did. You come across that middle, he going to knock you the fuck out. That's why I want my... Man, you might as well put in the fucking rookie. These bastards playing like shit. <laughs> shit for real, man. At least Miles Killer Brew will probably cause a turnover. And let me get to the defense real quick. 
this game, you got to cause a fucking turnover, dog. This this has been a problem with the Lions, man. We can't get any type of turnovers, man. We need to cause some fumbles, interceptions, something in this game. We need to get some turnovers. Call some fucking turnovers. I think I heard about the Lions talking about they want to do that this game, but they need to. They really do. Quandre Diz, man, you was the worst fucking defensive player on any level of the fucking defense this past Sunday. You was fucking awful. You was garbage. You was straight trash. You got burnt six ways from Sunday. <laughs> For real. You got burnt six ways from Sunday. You got burnt in every fucking route tree. You got burnt in the short routes. You got burnt in the intermediate routes. You got burnt deep. You got burnt in the bubble screen. You just getting burnt all over the fucking place. You need to step your shit up for real. That shit was awful, man. That was terrible. You pissed me off this Sunday, man. That was just awful. That was terrible. Maybe you can make it up this Sunday by getting turn getting a turnover or something. But that was just bad, man. That was really bad. Um, yeah, man. Now, Tara Austin, dog. I need to call you out, man. I'm sorry. Dude, this Sunday, man, if this defense, if this defense get picked apart again, man, because this past Sunday, this defense looked like cotton candy. This was the cotton candy defense and shit. You know how cotton candy is and shit? When you fucking get a cotton candy and you just pick that shit apart, pick a part of the fucking cotton candy and put it in your mouth and start eating it. That's how the fucking defense was, man. The goddamn receivers from the Colts were just picking us apart and eating our ass. Like, <laughs> on offense, they were just eating the shit out of our ass. Eating the shit out of our secondary. You know what I'm saying? We was like cotton candy. That cotton candy ass fucking defense ain't gonna slide with me. And number two, we gotta get fucking pressure on the goddamn quarterback. That's That shit gotta fucking change. Because if this defense as a whole, not just the secondary, but as a whole, the defensive line, the secondary, the fucking linebackers, don't step that shit up. If they don't step that shit up, man, I'm calling you the fuck out this next next week, man. I'm calling you out the next video I'll make against um, after the game, man. I'm calling you the fuck out. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what Dante Chase say. I don't care what X No say. I don't care what Dante, um, the Ace Taker say. I don't care what 313 Hitman said. I don't care what nobody say. If this defense get picked, because look, look at this. Last year, we gave up over 25 points per game, dog. That's that's terrible. That's not good. <laughs> that ain't good, man. That ain't good. You're not going to win that many games giving up 25 points per game. And we only scored 24 points per game. So what that tells you, we went 7-9. and nine. Just think about that. We gave up one less point. We gave up, we gave up more points than we scored. <laughs> we scored 24 and they scored, the opponent, the opponent scored 25. Which kind of led us to a 7-9 and nine record. Just imagine we scored 25 points and 25, I mean, we gave up 25. We probably went 8-8. Eight eight. Either or, it doesn't matter. That defense played like shit this past Sunday, and I'm not accepting that bullshit again. We play like shit. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going ham on your ass. I don't give a fuck. Uh, no, just go ham on Caldwell. Oh, uh, no, no. I'm going ham on the whole coaching staff. It, well, the... On Caldwell and motherfucking Charles Austin. That defense is fucking horrible. I'm not taking that shit anymore. I'm not putting up with this bullshit. If that, especially this year, man, I'm, I'm going harder than I ever fucking have this fucking year. If that defense play like shit again, man, especially against this sorry-ass Tennessee Titans team, dog, I swear to God I'm going fucking ham on your ass, and I'm not fucking playing. But, yeah, man, that's it for the video, dog. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, man. That I, I went hard enough, man. I, I'm just saying, man. That that is how I feel about the defense. I'm not I'm not letting Terrell Austin slide this week. I'm just not. I'm just not. But yeah, man. That's all I have to say, man. Peace out, dog.